Okay, there's a, a PDF on solving two-step equations. You can go ahead and print that out if you'd like. Uh, there's not very many notes to take on this. Uh, after all, it's only two steps. So here's the steps. It's actually three, and that's only because we include something called combining like terms, uh, which is part of simplifying both sides of an equation. Um, we don't always know if it's going to be like or unlike terms. If it's unlike, it's two steps. If it's like terms, it's probably still two steps, but you have to combine like terms uh, and then either go with multiply, divide, or addition and subtraction, but probably not both. But it, essentially what you're looking at here is reverse PEMDAS. We did some sort of order of operations to get the answer. Now we're going backwards to figure out what the value of the variable was that caused the output to be whatever it was. So you're thinking reverse PEMDAS. That's why we do, uh, or I should say, undo the addition and subtraction first. Uh, then we go to multiplying division second. Okay, so here's our first example. We have a divide by two and a plus five. We're gonna try and isolate the variable x. So when we say solve the equation, what we really mean is we're isolating the variable, getting the variable by itself. I have a times and a plus over there with the uh, variable, so I need to get them out of there or off of this side using uh, inverse operations. So I'm gonna undo my adds and subtracts first. So to undo and add five, we're gonna minus five from both sides. This gives us zero, and x over two, or x divided by two plus zero is just x divided by two. And then over here we have uh, like terms of 11 minus five, which gives us six. On our next step, we're going to undo the uh, division of 2, so divide by 2, so to undo that we're going to times by 2, uh, times by 2, uh, this is 2 over 1, times 2 divided by 2 will become a 1, 1 times x is just x, and then 2 times uh, 6 would give you 12. So if this is actually correct here, what you should be able to do is take this 12, put it back in place of x, and then follow the normal order of operations to see if it equals 11. And we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. So 12 over 2 plus 5 should equal 11. We're going to do divide first. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is equal 11. 6 plus 5 equals 11. So that does check out. So uh, x equals 12 does make the original problem true. Uh, here's another example, times an add, so I'm going to undo my adds first, so I'm going to minus 9 for both sides, this is 0, 5x plus 0 is just 5x, and then 24 minus 9 should give us 15, and now I've got a times 5, so to undo a times 5, we're going to divide both sides by that 5, the coefficient out front, 5 divided by 5 becomes 1, 1 times x is just x. 15 divided by 5 gives you 3. Now you are supposed to double check to make sure that this 3 is correct. So you're going to go back and put a 3 in place of x. So this becomes 5 times 3 uh, plus 9 is equal to 24. And now you do the normal order of operations to check your answer. 5 times 3 is going to give you 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. 15 plus 9 is 24. 24 equals 24, that checks out also. So x equals 3 is the solution. Okay, if you want to go ahead and pause the video, give this one a shot before I show you how to do it, go ahead and do that now. Uh, we have a times and we have a minus, so we're going to undo the minus first. The inverse operation, that would be uh, add, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. This becomes 0. So 4y is equal to 16 plus 4 is 20. And now I'm going to undo my times 4. So to undo times 4, we're going to divide by 4 on both sides. 4 over 4 is 1. 1 times y is y. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And we're always supposed to go back and check to make sure our answer works correctly. So we're going to take this 5 and put it back in place of y. So 4 times 5. So minus 4 equals 16. Do your normal order of operations. 4 times 5 equals 16. 20 minus 4, 16 equals 16. That checks out also. So y equals 5 is the right solution. 
Uh, so far we've had the variable on the left hand side, but it's not necessary that the variable be on the other side. We can solve it over here. I still have a divide and a minus. So we're still going to undo the minus first, so I'm going to add 7 to cancel this out to a 0, which means I come over here and add 7 as well. So this is 0. This leaves us with z over 3, or z divided by 3, is equal to negative 1 plus 7, which is 6. And this is a divide by 3, so the inverse operation divide would be multiplied. So we're going to times by 3, times by 3, and z, this becomes 1. 1 times z is z. Because z will equal 3 times 6, which is 18. And to make sure that this is correct, we want to substitute this 18 up here in place of z. So we're going to rewrite the problem here is negative 1 is equal to 18 over 3 minus 7. Uh, do the normal order of operations, so do the divide first. So negative 1 is equal to 18 divided by 3 is 6 minus 7. The 6 take away 7 leaves you with negative 1. Negative 1 equals negative 1. That one also checks out. Uh, here's another one. Um, oh, this one just has combining like terms. Here's the one where it might not be undo adds, undo subtracts, but combine your like terms so part of the simplification process here. So what you have are 7x's minus 4x's, and that should give you just 3x's. And we talked about combining like terms in the, in the last chapter, and if you don't remember, go back and, and look at... Uh, that chapter for combining like terms, or just search combining like terms on the search feature. Uh, and then all I have here is a times 3, so we're going to undo a times by dividing. Divide by 3, 3 over 3 is 1, 1 times x is x, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So we think that 7 would be correct here in both cases. Um, the only way to be absolutely certain of that is to take this 7 and put it back in place of, of x. So 7 times 7 minus 4 times 7 should equal 21. 7 times 7 is 49. Minus 4 times 7 is 28. 49 minus 28 is 21 equals 21. This checks out, which means x equals 7 is the solution. Uh, find an input of a function. So we're asking you to find the input, assuming they give us the output. Okay, so input output or function is usually a two variable relationship. We're not ready to actually solve two variables yet, uh, but we're going to set the uh, equation up as if it were two variables, and then they tell us that the output is 17. Okay, so the output is usually output of a function is usually the variable by itself. So we're going to go ahead and use the letter y as our output. And the, and the word is means equals. So y equals, the output equals. And then we're going to translate 3 less than 5 times the input. And for input, we're going to use the letter x. So we have an input of x and an output of y. But we have to translate 3 less than 5 times the input. 3 less than, the word less than does mean minus, but because of the word than, it actually means change the order of the subtraction. So it's not 3 minus something, it's something minus 3. So if we want to go ahead and put minus 3 in there, that's fine, but we've got to figure out what goes in front. Well, it's 3 less than 5 times the input. Well, the input is x, so we show 5 times that as simply 5x. And there's our equation, our function, input, output. We put something in here, and it outputs a value. Put something in, outputs a value. Now they're saying find the input, so find the x, when the output is 17. That's like saying y is equal to 17. Output is y, is means equals 17. Output is 17. So in place of y, we're going to substitute 17. And now figure out what the input is, because it says find the input, which is x, solve for x. We got a times, we got a minus, so the first thing we're going to do is our subtract, and the inverse operation is plus 3. 17 plus 3 is 20. 
This becomes 0. 5x plus 0 is just 5x. We're going to divide both sides by 5. Inverse operation of multiply is divide. 5 over 5 is 1. 1 times x is x. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we think that the input of 4 will produce an output of 17. The only way to be certain is to substitute back in. In place of x, we're going to substitute 4 minus 3. And now run through your normal order of operations. So do your times first. So 17 is going to equal 4 times 5 is 20 minus 3. 17 equals 20 minus 3 is 17. 17 equals 17. That checks out. So our value of x equal to 4 is the correct input. That produces an output of 17. Uh, there are more problems in the uh, textbook. You're welcome to try them. Uh, otherwise, we'll just practice them in class.